on board your board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits. Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. I wish you a happy birthday, and I hope you enjoy this special birthday what if. <sighs> Wait, was this about Ragnarok? Well, as you have clearly noticed, that humanity has uh, is still working on the God's Last Nerve. Yeah, so what? Oh, you must think they're gonna initiate Ragnarok. No, I am. <laughs> really? You. So, that means... Wait, you came here to see me. To tell me this, but why? Well, why should I give a damn? I want you to be a fighter. For which side? Humanity. <laughs> <laughs> really? Wait, you want me? You, you sincerely want me to fight on humanity's side against the gods? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't really care, I guess. But, uh, yeah, it seems kind of boring, really. Huh? I mean, I have no real reason to. You, you used to be human. Until you... Yeah, it took me a, quite a while to get to where I am now. I remember what I went through before. It wasn't easy. Not at all. One thing about humans is they may get, they may be uh, annoying pests, but I can't deny they are very persistent when you put their minds to it. Hmm. Ragnarok. I'm sure Heimdall sure as hell will enjoy being able to blow that horn of his. <laughs> <laughs> ah. So who do you really have in mind for this? I know you don't plan on me fighting everyone at once. Though I'm pretty sure I could. Uh, wait, the bells are to the death, right? Huh. Though, yes, I am human born. It would be weird for a god just to join the human side, don't you think? Well, I, you being human before, just to finally get to where you are, reaching divinity, that's... That's something to be, to be uh, proud of and something to admire, right? Yes. But, you know the gods are scared of you. Hmm. You're a human that became a god through that determination that you were talking about. Yeah. So... So why not show them just how powerful that determination got you? <laughs> You're trying to sweet talk me. Yeah, I, I, 
I hear you. I hear you. But seriously, besides me striking fear to the gods' hearts, I don't see no real reason. No, you will have saved humanity. If you were actually able to win, uh, who knows? You probably would lose anyway. <coughs> 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 uh, what? I'm just saying, maybe you're not strong enough to face any of the gods. What? <sighs> Listen, little girl. I, I won't lose to anybody. Bring on everyone. Ares, Hercules, Zeus. Bring on Odin and Thor. Bring me every single one of the gods' candidates, and I will stop their asses. All by myself. Without even breaking a sweat. You won't even see me mean to catch a breath. Ugh, you're all talk. You probably wouldn't be able to... Fine, fine. You want me to fight? I will. <laughs> I appreciate your acceptance to my team. You mean my team. Think of me as like an anime protagonist or main character of a video game. Whoever's on my side is guaranteed to win. <laughs> good, that's, that's good to know. But then, my health though, just, just leaves. She's like, uh, well, now we just gotta wait until Ragnarok can be initiated. Uh, wait, did, did she really just, did I just, oh, hell no, did she really just, I can't believe I fell for that. Wow, what the hell, she really just played on my ego like that. Okay. Okay. I'm not gonna lie. I, I could have handled that better, but damn. At the very least, I should see what my competition's gonna be up again. Huh. Upon realizing who she's chosen for the inevitable future of Riding the Rock. Yeah, we're fucked. Uh, huh? Um, <coughs> you're gonna need a contingency plan to come in. I see that these humans are... They're capable in their respective eras and whatnot. It's kind of weird that you actually chose a loser who's never won before as a candidate, but still. I mean, Adam... That, that that's a good matchup. That's that's that, that we whoever he's up against will definitely have trouble and possibly lose. Yeah, <sighs> but I uh, it's uh, I'm gonna need to do some preparations, huh? I'm gonna need some time, uh, if you don't mind. Huh? I'm going to reincarnate my my ass first. What? Yeah, I'm... I want to prove something to them. Maybe buy you some more time, too. How? Well, everyone knows how I reached my divinity, but what if I actually taught someone else how to do the same things I can do? What? You're me, Toots. Do you think you can? This is only one way to find out. Gonna, I'm going to go to work. So, yeah. I'm going to be gone for a while. 
If anyone asks, and just tell them I'm busy. You're serious about this. <laughs> if you if you want me at my best, I'm going to, have to do some more training and whatnot. Who knows? Maybe who I ever I end up choosing could be another person you could add to the lineup after I'm done. What? <sighs> you asked too many questions. Later. Uh, but I. I said later. So get your panties in a twist. I. Uh, I. Uh, <sighs> Let's see here. Hmm? Uh, what's going down down there? As he sees Izuku being bullied by Kasuki. Which, yeah, he hears a conversation on how Izuku still wants to be a hero despite him not having power or be quirkless. And how people are just telling him to give up. This is nothing but a dream he'll never be able to accomplish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, okay, looks like I found my perfect little vessel. As he just legit, and until he legit merges with Izuku. Okay, that sounds a little bit better. But, <clears throat> which, yes, Izuku seeing Buddha? Like, you look nothing like your... Uh, oh, I get that a lot. So, you want to be a hero? Yes. Would you like me to help you? Really? Yep. You won't be as strong as me, but I, just, I can at least give you some uh, enhanced strength and whatnot you can build up on. Who knows? Maybe. Maybe a few little buffs here here or there maybe teach you a few magic tricks depends on you if you want to I mean I, ugh, if you don't want to be a hero you can just go out back to being someone's punching bag yeah it don't really do me no difference uh, so you'll help me yes thank you so much is yes, Izuku, four year old Izuku, shedding tears of happiness. Is, uh, wait, why are you crying? The first person said that they wanted to help me. Huh? What about your uh, parents? Like, all my mom did was apologize for some reason. Huh? Yeah. And I. Mm, don't remember my dad. What? Him pretty much going through Izuku's memories. And he's like, what the hell? What, what kind of life are you? I'm going to need to have a talk with your mom. In which... He... Walks right up to Inko when they're home. And Mom, we're going to have to t have a little chat, if you don't mind. <clears throat> huh, um, sure, he's... Oh, no, you're talking to Buddha here. What? what? Him just manifesting in front of Inko. Just... <clears throat> Let's have a little chat when it comes to child rearing. Uh, Izuku, is this... Mom, it's Buddha. He's come to help me become a hero. What? But he looks nothing like... Yeah, he said he gets that a lot. In which, yes. There's actually a small explanation. Because, uh... Inko did, uh, have a hand in Izuku's little... Corklessness. Much more than anyone really thought. Turns out, yes, he did have a quirk. But 
Upon doing the research on Izuku's dad and Inko, scientists or these doctors have uh, surmised that he would be technically a son. What they mean by that, given Hazashi's fire quirk and Inko's attraction, Izuku would slowly but surely become an unstable, deadly ball of pure fire and to the point where he would be, his quirk would actually match the levels of a sun considering that he would have constantly drawn on more and more heat. By the time when he actually did become an adult, his body would have collected so much that, yeah, it would have rivaled the sun. And if anything were to happen to make him lose his mind or something, yeah. Chances are all that energy he's been absorbing would have released all at once. And if you thought it was hot before, imagine if the sun was right on the street. Everyone would have died, according to their statistics. So she pretty much had no choice but to find someone who could either Stop his quirk from activating? Take it away, maybe? Or, you know... Izuku, upon hearing this, he's crying. The most tears he's ever cried in his life. He could start a flood if he's not careful. Inko, upon seeing this, she just runs in to hug him, but... When he wraps his arms around her, is surprising. I'm so sorry I would have caused so much trouble. Uh, what? Huh? Kid, she, she took your quirk away. Yes, and I'm, and I'm thankful for, for that now. What? <laughs> Yeah, I wouldn't want to kill people by accident, or at all. Ah! Uh -huh. Yeah, if she didn't take my cork away, I could end up being responsible for countless deaths, and I, I'd feel so terrible. That that would be the end of the world just because of my quirk that I was born with. You're serious. Yo. You don't care of the fact that no, I'm I'm upset that I had my quirk taken away somehow. I didn't even know that was possible, but I can't believe you've been hiding this for so long. Who took my quirk away? Your father said uh, he knew a doctor, and. <sighs> seeing, or at least knowing that he had a hand in it, he's gone. Gone. <sighs> Let's just say, next time we saw him, he... He wasn't of this where away Hazashi. Midoriya? Oh yeah, I know that guy! Yeah, I say he was very guilty for what he ended up doing to his own son, despite the, it being for the greater good or whatnot. Huh? Oh yeah, he was super guilty about what he did to you. Huh. Man, if anything, if I knew that ahead of time, wow. I probably would have brought him here to see you. Uh, uh, so it's my fault he's gone? No, no, kid. 
considering how purely innocent and forgiving you are, uh, it's your quirk's fault for ma manifesting and not being so stable. If anything, you would have been a doomsday weapon. Oh yeah, why doomsday? That reminds me. Since I decided to show myself so early, there's something I need to tell you too. It's about the end of the world.